Good morning, j -Ram. Our inspiration of the day is found in John 6.38. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of Him who sent me. Now, the pleasing and perfect will of the Father is found in the succeeding verse, especially verse 40, which says, For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who beholds the Son and believes in Him will have eternal life, and I myself will raise Him up on the last day. But at this time, I would like to touch on Jesus doing His Father's will. Jesus' obedience is unfathomable or incomprehensible, most times even too deep to understand. But looking at what He was doing at this time, we could see that it was His ultimate joy to do what the Father asked Him to do. It was His very fiber and very being to please God. This is what makes Jesus the perfect example of obedience. Though He is the second person of the Trinity, yet He honored His Father through His obedience. Now, this is where we come in. We are created in God's image, a tripartite being. Genesis 1.26 says that we are created in His own image and His likeness. So, Jesus' image and likeness is obedience to His Father. That is His very being and manifests in the joy and ultimate satisfaction of Him. So much more with us as created beings then, that the very fiber, our very being, and the pinnacle of our joy, our utmost satisfaction, and ultimate contentment is doings, uh, or doing God's pleasing and perfect will in our lives. God bless you all.